Hi, my name is Georg from Entanglement. In this video, we learn about digital transformation and which guiding principles you should follow for your digital transformation strategy. Until not long ago, the global economy mainly depended on manual labor from farm workers and craftsmen. All of this was about to change at the beginning of the 19th century with the advent of advanced machinery, such as steam engines for instance. Productivity greatly increased during a time which later became known as the Industrial Revolution. In the 20th century, the service industry quickly grew and soon became the largest economic sector in developed countries. But what may be the next step in this evolution? May there be a next step in the economy's evolution that may increase productivity and innovation even further? To answer that question, one needs to keep in mind that the productivity gains in the Industrial Revolution were achieved by automating manual labor and enabling mass production. Nowadays, instead of goods, the provision of services by the service sector is also increasingly being automized by technology. Automatization and innovation of services needs knowledge. The shift to the knowledge sector is therefore the next natural step in evolution. Now, the question is, which role does the digital transformation play in supporting this evolution? Let's have a brief look at the definition of digital transformation. It is the adoption of digital technology to transform services or entire businesses. But what are examples for such digital technologies? Take automatic telephone exchanges, for instance, cellular telephony, smartphones and mobile apps, and looking into the future, virtual reality and smart prosthetics. But technology alone is not enough. You also need to follow certain guiding principles for your digital transformation. We'll have a look at the five most important. 1. Make your stakeholders, products and processes transparent. 2. Make use of insights through feedback. 3. Transform only where it makes sense. 4. Put user experience, not technology, in the center. And 5. Use prototyping and experiments to find new business models. First of all, increase transparency by obtaining and making use of data. This can be used to improve customer experience, increase efficiency or foster innovation. Make use of this increased transparency in order to gradually improve your offerings and processes and measure the outcome. It is important to do the right things right instead of trying to digitalize everything at once. Focus on the use cases where you see the most value, for instance the highest improvement in efficiency or the biggest net present value of an investment. Keep in mind that it's never about the technology, but that user experience should always be in the center. Your stakeholders have certain needs and they want to have them fulfilled in the most convenient manner. They don't care about the technology. Use transparency and feedback to deduce solutions for the most valuable use cases. Build and test your solutions fast so that you can quickly find the best solution for the use case at hand. We had a look at the guiding principles that you should follow in a digital transformation. But what does it take to start one in your company? There are three steps that you can take. You can shift to agile collaboration. You can make use of data to gain insights. And based on that, you can launch experiments in vital areas. How could those steps look like? Use Scrum and DevOps for agile collaboration. Build up a data lake for centralizing and making use of data. Launch proof of concepts. So that was probably a lot of information. What are the four key takeaway messages that we have? First of all, creation and the use of knowledge is paramount. Second, only agile organizations can actually transform. Third, use digitalization to transform your business. And fourth, experiment, experiment, experiment. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If yes, then please subscribe to my channel and have a look at my blog on www.entanglement.ch. Thanks.